says specifically no revving and no burnout, but it never said anything about takeoffs. Okay, so the last time we were here, it was the Hellbee Hellbug. So it's been a while since we've been at this event. Right now, we're gonna go around, check out some of the cars. We have this West Bank Twin Turbo Hurricane. I just love how he put like the Red Bull like livery on it, the decals, and made it matte black. I'm so, uh, such a sucker for matte black, dude. Damn, this looks so sick. I believe that's a Mansory kit, and it's one only one of five Hurricanes in the world that has it. Oh, what is that? Ooh, we got a Carrera GT and a Bacani Huayra. What? <laughs> Haven't seen too many Pagani Huayra Roadsters yet. I mean, the last time we saw one was at the Concourse event in Rodeo Drive. This one though has to be one of my favorite specs ever. And then you have exotic royalty cars. We got Veyron, but it looks like they wrapped it in like a red color. He previously was white. Yeah, as we head away from like the main section of the car meet, now we start getting to like the other stuff, like the Porsches. Yeah, right behind me we got the BPI Turbo S. It's not it's not a GT3 RS. It's not a GT3, but it does have GT3 parts, so it looks so good. But it is a Turbo S, so this video is probably gonna come out first. But the other day. Me and Justin, we rented a Porsche. I'm not gonna tell you guys what Porsche yet, unless you've been following my Instagram page. So only those who have been showing me love on Instagram saw what we drove and what we took to the canyons. It's my first time driving a Porsche. I can't begin to describe like how precise that thing is and how, like, how amazing it is to drive. To me though, it felt more like a precision tool more than something like with character. It was such a fun and amazing drive though. Yeah, we just got Porsches on Porsches there, so we're gonna go to a different section. Oh yeah, we got one of my favorite Lambos. Mania. Oh yeah. Yeah. I wanted to show you guys my favorite car or my favorite type of car here today. The W211. This is an E63. And then we have like three E55 W211s over there too. I'm like absolutely in love with this car. I used to have a W211 E350. It wasn't an AMG. I made it look as much as an AMG as possible. It had the E55 style body kit. God, man. And if you guys haven't heard this already, like it sounds badass with the proper exhaust kit of, of course. Dude, he did such a good job on this one. On rotor forms too. Wow, and the interior is so clean. This literally has to be my favorite car here. Like, this is like so realistic. That's why for me. Oh, wait, we have to check out this one too. <laughs> Look at how the rear tires stick out. Look at that. Oh my god. I'm like in love right now. I'm so in love. I'm all about Mercedes gang. In the future, hopefully I can buy one of these from like a year from now or something. You know, if my channel blows up or something, hopefully. Okay, finally, can check these out. There's like a group of people there taking pictures, so I don't want to walk in front of them. But we got Cherry Bomb. We'll check out the back first. One of my favorite cars of all time, Dan's Cherry Bomb, Regera. in Huntington Beach. Every time I see this, I kind of get breathless though. Man, it looks so, so good. So yeah, it only has three gears, even though it has paddles. It has reverse, neutral, and drive right there. The paddles are just used to shift through between those three, three gears pretty much. Pretty crazy how they would even put paddles there. You know, even though you can only go drive, neutral, or reverse. Check that thing out.
finally at the end of the event. It's so funny because it says there's no revving, no burnouts, no anything. This guy's just chilling. <laughs> wow! Now your minds are gonna about to be blown with this with this twin turbo hurricane. This is my favorite hurricane ever. He said fuck the stop sign. <laughs> oh my god, dude. He just ran through everything. Luckily that car was there blocking for him. Oh yeah. I think what's gonna happen, they're all gonna send it right now. Oh my God. There goes Big Daddy. Oh my god, that was so awesome catching all those cars leave. But we're gonna end the episode here today. So thank you guys for watching this episode. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.